Hello, I'm Dr. Marta Baird. In this video, I'll be explaining maxillary skeletal expansion. The upper and lower jaws are called the maxilla and mandible. Beneath the gum tissue, upper and lower jaws house all of the teeth. The upper jaw is made up of two parts, a right and a left, and the lower jaw is one bone. When I evaluate the width of the upper jaw compared to the lower jaw, we measure on an x-ray at the level of the first molar. From this view, we are looking at the width of the upper and lower jaws. In a normal bite, the upper jaw is wider than the lower jaw. This allows the teeth to fit together properly. Between the right and left maxilla, there is an area referred to as the maxillary midline suture. In young patients, orthodontic appliances can stimulate this area to grow. The ideal age for expansion is between 8 and 9 years old. This is because expansion is very predictable and relatively comfortable at this age. As patients get older, this area starts to fuse, and more and more pressure is required to expand. Bilateral crossbite occurs when the upper jaw is so narrow that the upper teeth fit inside of the lower teeth. This is corrected by expanding the upper jaw. Some patients have a narrow jaw that causes them to posture to one side. This is called a unilateral crossbite because there's a crossbite on only one side. Because the mandible is shifted to one side, it also causes a facial asymmetry. Without early treatment, the asymmetry will become permanent. After expansion, the mandible repositions into a more symmetrical position. Most often, when the maxilla is narrow, the mandibular teeth tip inward to compensate. When the lower teeth are then aligned, the width deficiency becomes more pronounced. These patients also receive an expander so that the upper and lower teeth can fit together in a functional bite. Now, if the narrow arch is corrected without a skeletal expander, in that case, only the teeth would be moved. This can mean that the teeth are moved outside of their stable position in the bone, and it can result in future dental problems such as recession. This is a digital scan for a patient that required a skeletal expander. In the post-expander scan, there is some gingival inflammation around the molars. It can be difficult to clean around the wires of a traditional expander. This inflammation heals within a week or so after removing the expander. A traditional expander has two necessary parts. First, bands on the molars that encircle the teeth, and second is the expansion screw. We provide patients and their parents with a key and instructions on how to turn the screw in order to get the correct expansion of the maxilla. An alternative to the traditional expander is the Invisalign palatal expander. This expander widens the palate the same way that a traditional expander does, by adding pressure over time to stimulate growth in the jaw in order to increase its width. The Invisalign palatal expander is a removable, 3D printed, custom fit appliance. The design of the expander is comfortable for the tongue and does not apply pressure to the soft tissues of the roof of the mouth. Pressure is applied by progressing through a series of 30 or 40 stages. Each expander gradually widens the upper jaw. While we may order 40 stages, we may not end up going through all of them. It is important to visit the office for routine visits during the expansion phase to monitor the progress. The expander is worn at all times, except for when brushing. It is important to wear the expander at all times, even when eating. Imagine the expanding of the upper jaw as a rubber band. As soon as you let go, the rubber band snaps back together. The same with the maxilla. After the expansion phase, there is a three-month holding phase to avoid the loss of expansion. It is held in place by these attachments. Attachments are tooth-colored plastic that is attached to the teeth and allows the expander to snap into place. The patient works through their series of aligners. The maxilla will gradually widen the same way a traditional expander screw expands. Patients may find it more comfortable, hygienic, and convenient compared to the traditional expander. When you come in for your consultation, we will review both options for you. This is a pre- and post-expander scan that was taken on a patient the day she finished her expander treatment. Notice the health of the gingival soft tissues on the palate. The expansion phase of treatment is active for the first two to three months. 
two months after the expansion is done, the patient is scanned for Invisalign. With a traditional expander, we remove the expander and place it back the same day. The expander must be in place for at least three months of holding to avoid losing the expansion. Once we begin Invisalign Clear Aligner treatment for the tooth movement phase, the expander is removed. Office visits are then about every two to three months for the duration of treatment. The Invisalign phase can last anywhere from six to nine months. Expansion is best done around age eight when patients have a lot of growth remaining. Once all of the adult teeth come in, the suture between the right and left side starts to fuse. By age 12, the force to expand the maxilla is much higher. Expansion is more comfortable at a younger age. Without expansion, crowded teeth would move forward. This would cause a protrusion. When resolving the crowding and expanding by expanding the teeth only without expanding the jaws, this may cause the teeth to move outside of the jawbone. At the level of the teeth, the plan may look reasonable. However, we want our patients to have a beautiful smile that will be stable, functional, and healthy in the long term. Teeth have roots, and the roots need to be inside of bone. Without expanding the foundation with a skeletal expander, the teeth would just move outside of the bone. The foundation needs to be corrected by correcting the width of the upper jaw in order to accommodate all of the teeth. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on orthodontic treatment, visit BairdOrthodontics.com.